Hey everybody, I'm Dizzy Hips, the Ruler Boot Man. And um, we're going to learn some tricks today. We're going to learn how to hula hoop on basic hooping method. I'll teach you that trick later. So if you don't want to move your hips or anything like that, you can just go like this. That's man hooping. Um, but if you want to learn to hula hoop this way, first thing you do is you put your right foot in front if you hoop to the right. If you hoop to the left, put your left foot in front. So if you can't make up your mind, just go like this. So the main the main thing you need to do is is uh, decide which way you want to hula hoop. And um, so if you, if you don't know which way you want to hula hoop, wink. Right, if you wink to the, with your right eye, usually you're going to hoop to the right. If you wink with your left eye, hoop to the left. It's usually also the way you snowboard. So if you put your right foot in front when you snowboard, your goofy foot, put your left foot in front, your, your regular foot. And so this means if you, put, if you go to the right, put your right foot in front, and you're goofy hipped. If you go to the left and you put your left foot in front, you're regular hipped. If you can't make up your mind, you go like this. All right? Now, usually this is the normal way, but you can also go to the side. In which, way, in which case you put your feet parallel and go side to side. Right now I'm going to the right and I'm going off my right side. I can also go to my left and go off my left side. So experiment with that. So the point of power is right here. I'm putting power and energy, the point of energy is right here. I'm pushing off my left hip. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can put I go to the right, push off my right hip. I can also push off the back. I'm pushing off right back here. You can also, that's single timing. You can also do double time. So I can push off the right hip and the left hip in one revolution. It goes one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. In other words, it's pushing once twice per revolution instead of once, 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 like that. That's the normal way. One, and two, three, four. But double time would be one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Two hits per revolution of the group. So practice that. You can also do that in the front and back and then you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you can go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. That makes it go faster. So then experiment with the, the angle. After you experiment with the point of pressure, either the front, the side, the opposite side, or the back, then experiment with the angle. So by leaning back, you can tilt it up. <laughs> and by leaning forward and bending your knees, you can tilt it down. <clears throat> Always try both directions with each of these. So if you're practicing going off the right hip, go, go off the right hip, then power it with the opposite hip, then go off, then switch directions off the left hip and then go off the opposite hip. All right. To switch directions, all I do is I do a martial arts block as if somebody just kicked you like this. You block it like that away from your body. So it's coming around like this. You block it. The closer and tight to your body you get it, the more control you have on it. So I'm going to block with that part of my arm. Remember always block, like in martial arts, always block soft to hard. Never hit it with any 
thing on your body that's hard, like any kind of bone or ligament, because that'll give you a uh, real sore, and that'll make you really sore. So always hit it with the soft part. Now a lot of people will grab it with their hands and just push it. So you can just do it with your hands. You can push it forward or backward. I like to do the, the arm because it's faster. All right. Now, you, if you tilt, all right. Now we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to. Let's see. Okay. So this is how to pick something up off the ground. And to do this, you're gonna have to do the angle of hoop lesson to so see my previous lesson on angle of hoop. So you get the hoop going at an angle and then you're going to hop. If you hop, if you go to the right, hop with your left foot. If you go to, with, to your left, hop with your right foot. And then just practice bending your knee and trying to pick something up. This is also how to do the Charleston. Okay, and then if you have something to pick up, you're going to bend your knee, but slightly turn your knee to the side, to your inside, as you're going down. If you bend your knee straight in front of you, it'll hit your hoop. So I'm turning my knee to the opposite direction. Like instead of like that or like this, I'm going like that. And touching the ground. And that's how I pick objects up off the ground. So, <clears throat> just because you're hooping is no excuse to not pick up your stuff. Alright, so that's how to pick things up off the ground and do the Charleston. Next lesson is how to juggle while hooping. Okay, this lesson is juggling while hula hooping. And in order to do this, you're going to need to know how to change the angle of your hoop. So see that lesson. But a quick intro on how to change the angle of your hoop is you bend your bend your knees okay so I'm bending my knees and as I bend my knees I'm pushing I'm pushing that way I'm pushing my lower back straight up at a 45 degree angle and the hoop will always go at a right angle to whatever surface it's on. So if it's on your forearm, it's going to go at a right angle, right angle, right angle, right angle, right angle. It always wants to stay at a right angle. So if it's on your body, you have to make give it a right angle to go. And if you want it down, want the hoop down there, you have to make your back angled this way so that the right angle comes like that, okay? That gets the hoop out of the way for your juggling tosses. With the proper juggling toss, the catch comes down and then you throw up. <laughs> Especially if you've just eaten an entire anchovy pizza. That's how to juggle while hula hooping. All right, now let's. I think I got all the 